Hey guys, it's GeeseQuest16. Welcome back to Let's Play, Let's Replay Banjo Kazooie. Well, we uh, completed all nine worlds in the game. So now let's go through uh, this little area right here. Let's see what's through here. Music's changing. Oh, it's like a pad of tootie. Oh. Okay, what do we have here? Looks like we got a bunch of. Looks like a board game or something like that. Welcome all! Grunty's the name. Banjo's here to play my game. My lair is done and here he stands. Through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. The prizes on this stand bring joy. From 2D down to cuddly toy. <coughs> My little quiz will make you sweat. And Trudy, you shall never get. Cause somewhere sooner along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Cause in the fiery pit you'll go, and I will win the prize on show. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh man, that was kind of hard to do. Yeah, that grunty voice is kind of hard to do, but anyways. So yeah, uh, okay, first off, behind here with Magic Cauldron. So yeah, we find Grunty and uh, Tootie, but in order to reach Tootie, we're going to have to uh, play a quiz game. So yeah, we step over to these tiles here, and Grunty will ask you a question. And this first tile here, whenever you see a blue Banjo-Kazooie tile, she'll ask you a question about the game. So here we go. Okay, hey, click clock wood, a big oak groove, which of these is one that's true? Okay, the grass is high, so I don't know, that's not true. Uh, squirrels outside, uh, leaves the largest in summer. There we go. Because I knew, I know Namna was not outside in winter. And yes, if you get a question right, you get to move on to the next square. So that's how you move on to the next square. You gotta answer a question right in order to move on. And it goes to reach the end to where Grunty and Tootie is, so. Okay, when you see an orange eyeball panel, we got a visual challenge. Should I ask you a question? And she'll show you an area of the world. And right there is Mumbo's Mountain. You gotta guess where that area is located. See, like right, right there, that's Mumbo's Mountain. And also scattered throughout here, there's, um... There's uh, honeycombs, which um, if you get a question wrong, you lose a piece of your health. And there's honeycombs scattered along here, here, as well as extra lives. Okay, another question about the game. Man, my monster says, grinning around. What's on the front of them found? Oh, this is about, okay. I think they say the words get lost banjo on it. I think that's what it said on, on the questions. Okay, when you see a green note panel, and she'll uh, play a uh, she'll play a tune, and you gotta guess from which world it's from, or atoms or characters. It's like this one's for atoms. And yeah, that's an extra life. Extra wife. Extra wife. Yeah. Whenever you find a life, you get to hear the news. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, over here, when you see this, uh, this is the Joker panel. You have one chance to get it right. If you get it right, you win a couple of Joker cards. If you get it wrong, you get nothing, and you don't get to try again, so. Okay, oh, we got a tune. Okay. That's my most mountain. So yeah, that's the other uh, challenge from the green, from that green panel, that green note panel. Sure, play a tune from the world, you gotta guess what it is. And that one was not Mad Mad Mumbo's Mansion. Okay, so yeah, a Joker card. Whenever you go to a panel, you can press the B button to skip the panel. So yeah, they can be useful if you're stuck on a cup on one. Okay, um, okay, we got another visual challenge here. So yeah, that's what we gotta do. You don't have to beat all the. Uh, you don't have to, oh, excuse me, you don't have to beat all the panels, you just gotta get to the end. Let's see, Mumbo's Mountain. Okay, what we got here? Okay, Rusty Base Crane hangs over the side. Holds a box that works inside. 
Grunty's expensive new... I have no idea what a half high is. Okay, that'd be TNT. And this is probably the hardest square. When you see a purple uh, stopwatch panel, you uh, play a challenge that you saw previously through the game. Like right, right here. Remember this one? Mighty box you must now fight. But be quick as time is tight. So yeah, we gotta fight the boss boom box. But there's a twist. We have six we have seventy seconds, so I would suggest in vulnerability link. Hope I have enough here. I should. So yeah, these challenges on the purple stopwatch uh, panel. What they do, you play uh, challenges, you can you fight uh, boss battles, play through challenges that you saw in the game to get jiggies and so on. So, so yeah. And over here we have the Grunty panel. You remember, you remember Ben Tilda and how she gave us three of her secrets? So now, this is what this says. The newsstands is where I've been. What's well, my favorite magazine? Uh, I think it was Big Butts and Guts. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, you gotta remember what Brentilda says about Grunty's secrets, and that's how you remember it for here. And here's probably the most dangerous panel, the Red Skull panel. If you get this one wrong, it's instant death, because uh, you will go into the lava, and it's instant death. So let's go ahead and talk to. Okay, Gobi's cactus conceals a prize. Okay, um, a cactus that had a. Extra honeycomb pe A piece of sponge cake? <laughs> Why would it be a piece of sponge cake and a cactus? I have no idea. Tell you what, no you can. Why on earth is my favorite smell? Yeah, I think that was putrid parrot puke. Yep. Well, we're going through pretty good. We're almost done. Okay. Okay, so we got another world here. That's uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Alright, and we got another one of these right here. Well, we'll take the risk. Okay, the Haunted Mansion in my ground. How many ways in co- Aw, oh, dang it! Oh, uh, this is gonna be... Seven, please be right. Dang it! And I died. Well, there's the first death of the project. Oh, man, come on. I'll keep the footage in. We'll try it again here. So I see you're back to try one more time, but you will fry. Uh, no, I won't this time, Gruntilda. But uh, yeah, whenever you, if you fail, if you fail one of these, uh, if you fail a, uh, oh man, hang on here. Okay, so I'm gonna sand that be grabbed by the mummy hand. So yeah, if you fail the quiz, if you die, from losing all your honeycombs or failing the red square, you will have to start from the beginning, so. Okay. And that's Treasure Trove Cove. I should have used my Joker last time, but that's alright. Treasure Trove Cove. On um, Treasure Trove, there's a boat. What's his name? That was the salty hippo, the wobbly well, and the sweaty hippo were the other quest, the other ones. Okay, he has this dumb voice. That's Mot Zen. Uh, no, that's Napper. I thought it was Mot Zen, but no, it's Napper. Sparrow Mountain fields are green. Which veggie baddie is it seen? And that would be Spuddy the Potato, because we didn't see a killer potato. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that extra life. Man. Let's see. Thinker's Cavern. That's where that is. Hmm. I know, definitely ain't in Grunty's Lair. Oh, these items on the ground, a treasure trove cove was first first found. Uh, they're feathers, actually. I know it wasn't goat feathers, and I sure as heck there was no daggone feather duster. 
Let's skip this. So yeah, if you have a Joker card, press the B button and you'll be able to skip the challenge, so. So yeah. A little more and wouldn't hurt. What would I have for dessert? Uh, I think it was cockroaches and cream. No, it wasn't. And yeah, that's what happens when you get get it wrong here. You lose health. Lovely specimen in this pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? Uh, that was a Veronica print. A Veronica print? I don't know. Da, 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 da. Look at my hair. See it flow. What's it washed with? Do you know? Oh, dang it. Uh, was it baked beans or engine oil? Or rancid? I think it was rancid milk. Oh, no. Daggum. That sucks. Now I'm down to two more lives left. Wow. I'm about to get some extra lives. I might actually get a game over. I never... I haven't got a game over in a while. Okay, what cellar is not there? Uh, Red Feathers is not in the cellar. Okay. Clanker's Cavern, definitely. There's Clanker down there. Almost mountain is easy for sure. How many jerks are- oh. Uh, that would be one. Okay, that's Chimpy, who called Banjo and Kazooie fat. Well, we still want to strangle. Eh, no, just kidding. Bumpy the Baboon? That's funny. That sounds like I Are Baboon from I Am Weasel. Anybody remember that cartoon? I do. Didn't really like it though. Okay, has this dumb voice. Oh, what was it? Oh, Nut. Let's see. Wait a minute, Conquer the Squirrel? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's not Conquer's cousin. Let me try to get, uh. Do you know the dumb things now? And yes, also the visual challenge. She'll show you a she'll show you a character and you must guess who that is. And right there that's Boggy. Peggy. <laughs> okay, an extra life, I do not care. It will not help you scuffy bear. Oh, we'll see about that. God, I hope I don't fail again. I was gonna keep all this in. Is that Rusty Bucket Bay? I have no idea. Uh, I won't try that. Oh, yay! I figured. Found enough, you know the score. How many notes for the first note door? That would be 50. That was the one in the, 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 the first part of the lair. Because of all those spells I land, who in my school was my best friend? Okay, that was Sweaty Betty. I may still remember that. Um, I don't know. Should I try a temp? Let's see. Let's try this one. This one's been a pain. And Cluck Cluck Wood, he's the king. What's the squirrel doing in spring? Uh. Eating his nuts. Okay, moving on. Finally got past that part, thank God. Okay, usually grow up in the heat. Where does Grunty like to sleep? Uh, I think it was in a comfy dumpster. Yep. I don't see how a dumpster would be comfy. Okay. That's a uh, clinker's cavern. And we got another one of these right here. So let's give it one more shot. Tell me now or you'll laugh out chomp. The frog's name in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Those are the flippets. Yeah, there's no way they're called stick ups. When they, hey, come here, stick up. <laughs> okay, visual or music challenge. Okay, world. That's Bubble Gloop Swamp. Yeah, Bubble Gloop Swamp. 
Bubblegum Mountain. Yeah, I can see that being a world for, I don't know, Banjo, for, I don't know. Anyways, skip that. I don't, I don't worry about those challenges. Okay, how's a treat? What's in the water chomps your feet? Piranha fish. Um, I'm actually gonna, no, no, never mind. Okay. Oh, hello! Okay, that's a uh, bubble gloop swamp inside a inside a tank tub. Tank, yeah, tank tub. Another one of these. How dare you look? Stop that stare. What color undies? Why do we want to look at your undies, Grunty? And I think it was spotty purple. Yeah. And we got another Grunty question here. I like them fry the crowd a tweet treat. What fruit breakfast do I? Okay, what does she eat? Uh, was it, uh, spider pancakes? No. Okay, fat hag mostly thinks I'm hot. What do I do on the cover shot? Uh, I think she polished her crystal ball. There we go. You also get some health back, thank you. Now we got another one of those visuals. Okay, this, okay, world. Uh, this treasure trove cove. That's kind of catchy, actually. Not as catchy as, uh, you guys remember the early 90s show DuckTales? That had a freaking catchy theme song. Oh my goodness gracious. And with ADD, it actually makes it more catchy. And holy crap, we got a Mr. Vile challenge. So yeah, this one, we uh, have to face Mr. Vile again. And it's the third and final, it's the third challenge where we have to watch what we see on screen and this time we have we can wear the turbo trainers so yeah that's that's actually pretty sweet like that they don't keep disappearing I think they uh oh dang it oh this is gonna cost me I want it. Thank you. I think it uh, switches like a little bit more faster in this challenge, and I still counted. Oh shoot! That's gonna cost me. Come on, switch, switch. Thank you. No, oh, no, you don't, Mr. Vile. Yeah, I got this in the bag. That's actually a little bit. Ah, that was perfect. <laughs> okay, what we got here? In the wood for the plant to grow, what in the ground must you sow? Uh, a bomb? No, it was an egg. Yeah, like a bomb's gonna make a plant grow. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We gotta get past this stupid thing. A almost mountain surrounded by sea. There's a Jinjo, what color is he? Uh, blue. Yeah, there's no black Jinjos in the game. Okay, got a grunchy challenge, and then after that, we got one more panel. Okay, we'll show us thinner. What does Grunty like for, what does she like for dinner? I think it was maggot pie. No, 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 I think it was slug stew, never mind. Oh, I hope that last panel ain't a grunchy question. You want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? That was Grunty and the Carlton Crew. And you suck! Okay guys, here it is. One more panel. And after this, we have to ease eyes once again. Here we go. Listen up now and make your choice. Oh, this is easy. That's the person we're trying to rescue, Tootie. Banjo the stupid fat. Oh, how dare you call Banjo fat, Grunty? There we go. We've done it, guys. We've beaten Grunty's friend so fun. Woo! No one can win. I was assured by the makers of this board. It's not fair. I want to win. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go. 
You won't catch me. I've made sure. All the credits you'll now endure. Okay, well, there goes Grunty. But the good news, we have Tootie rescued. Which part shall we take, Kazooie? Me, 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 me. Uh, how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant. Kazooie! Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure, let's get out of this dump. Yeah, let's get the frig out of here. And, oh, yay, we have, I guess we have the credits. Okay, so you're going to go through the characters and the people who help make Banjo Kazooie a awesome platforming, platformer game on the 64. Other than Super Mario 64, of course. Hey, Bubbles. So, um, uh, we have the credits. Jinjo. Um, yeah, I guess this is it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the game. We got, uh, 2D back. Thank goodness. But we still have Grunty to deal with. But I think the credits single for the end of the game. So. So, yeah, guys, uh, this is uh, Rex Replay Banjo Kazooie. I, I want to thank everyone for watching the project. Didn't take that long, actually. It only took like, about. Well, I probably would have been done sooner if I didn't have those internet problems I had in that one week, so. Hey, Chimpy. Um, yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. Thanks for everyone watching. Replay went a little bit better. It actually took less videos than my original. Actually, I figured it would with unlimited time. Nipper. Okay, um, yeah, we're we'll just watching the credits here. Uh, Clanker. Steven Sandy Butthurst. Tape Tub, John Napper Nash. I thought I was gonna say Kevin Nash there for a minute. I don't know why. And we just beat Mr. Val, who we beat for a fourth time uh, a couple of minutes ago. Tip Tub, Grant Grant Kirkhope, probably one of the most famous uh, music composers for Rare Rare. Um. Um. I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. And there's Waza, who called Benjo his ugly, ugly, but he's like ugly bear and his uh, stupid fat, and ugly, a uh, smelly brown bear and his stupid bird part, ugly bird partner, that's what it was. Okay. Okay, let's do Gobi's Valley, we're... About halfway done for the credits. And yeah, there's no way you can skip through the credits, so. So yeah, you can try it all you want, so. Gobi. Ruby and Toots. Toots or Toots. Uh, I don't know. It's either one of those two names. Strange Noise Makers. Now you gotta have a little fun, I guess. Whoa! Hello! The little, the little uh, skeleton dude kind of scared me a little bit. Kind of startled me. Okay, we're in Rusty Bucket Bay. Big Cheese Thanks! Mr. Yamiuchi, Mr. Mumbo Jumbo Aqua. <laughs> Big Cheese Thanks. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Why would he say Big Cheese Thanks? Okay, we're about done here. I think we got Eerie and 
Yeah, we got Eerie and Nab Nut. So yeah, we're about done. Oh, hey, Nab Nut. Copyright 1998, Nintendo Red Limited. And of course, the heroes of the game, Banjo and Kazooie. Hurry up and get us home, Banjo. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, look over there. We missed a carrot. Take that, carrot. Got him. Are you happy now? Come on, you two. We're ready to party. Aw, oh, sweet. Great. I could do with a drink. Let's party! I should have said let's Mario party. Okay, Mumbo looks like he's cooking hamburgers. Uh, Bottles eating corn on the cob, and of course BK over there drinking, I guess, Sprat Zero or something. Bear Bird did good. Helped Mumbo beat Witch. Yeah, but they needed my amazing moves to do it. No way! Me and Banjo were the stars of this game. Yeah, you got that right. Hey, Tootie, what's up? What's the party for? Grunty got away, so get back up there and finish the job. Oh, what? We're not... <laughs> That's funny. Ah! I'm not going. Ouch! Yes, you are. Let's go. Okay, we're not done yet, guys. We got to deal with Gruntilda. So that is what we're going to do next video. The showdown we've been waiting for. For since the project began. So join me for that. This is Geek Squad 16 signing off. Later.